When I realized there are many people, I came to realize that we need a voice out. To me, a victim, that was when the incident happened to me. And a survivor, that was the struggle I was in, into getting healed. But to that question, I would say, I would feel free to be called a human rights activist. Because I stand to say, what happened to me, it should be known and then people can come out, assist, and those who want to be assisted can come out as well. When I found out about Men of Hope uh, and the Refugee Law Project, getting assistance and being sent to the hospital as a survivor, I came to realize that I still have at least 1% of my hope. I could still live. So I decided and say, if I got someone to push me, like Refugee Law Project, so if I worked up, also assist one more person, save life, that was my motivation. The first thing I feel like I'm working with the people who went in the same experience with me. So it gives me that kind of, I don't know how I can call it, like more, more passion of serving them because I already know what they're going through, some of them. I already know how it feels to be a victim or a survivor. When I was alone, I used to isolate myself, but now we gather as a group, visit people in the hospital, go to those who are in prisons and to the communities. So we have raised more awareness as a group which I couldn't achieve personal or alone. I've gone to several areas whereby we have even managed to identify more survivors. It has assisted even the male survivors to be heard. Like uh, we have talked on Al Jazeera, we have talked on BBC, we have talked on uh, local radios, local TVs. This is because of the group. partnership to the group would assist to raise more voices if we could get more people who can partner in like refugee law project sends us to hospitals if inter-aid can offer counseling if UNHCR can offer support of the family if hires can offer like education uh, these are the mm, groups that I've seen here who would at least come in the partners assist you to gather you back to bring you back to the step forward of your life There is no law that protects the male victims. There is a confusion. When you talk about male victims of sexual violence, and people confuse it with homosexuality, mostly with the members of Men of Hope, mostly they have no jobs. There is a challenge of poverty. The most challenge is the ignorance of government medical institutions, the community, not knowing that a male victim exists, a male victim of sexual violence. We are united now as men, male survivors of sexual violence. We now know that we are one family. We now know that we share the same problem. But when I realized there are many people I came to realize that we need a voice out. With my voice, with someone's voice, the group's voice, the men of hope as victims of sexual violence standing out and say no to sexual violence.